Hello, you little nuggets. Let's play a little bit of FTL. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the right place. All right, this is a, um, I wiped my profile. So I thought, okay, let's play a little bit. And I was originally gonna do, um, I was gonna do only hard runs. And then I realized uh, that that could take me the rest of my life. I have actually finished this game on hard. But it's, uh, I wanna do some easy runs. I wanna show you some ships. So if you've never played the game before, I have a lot of friends who've played this and it, they find it really difficult. They don't get it. It's like, it's just too much. So I'm gonna play on easy which is where everyone should start. This is not one of those games where easy is just if you want to enjoy the narrative. No, easy is where you need to start. This game is hard for a beginner, you know. Uh, you have to have many hundreds of hours in it to get really good at it. I have, I think I have 1,800 hours in this game. It's one of the most played games I have, apart from things like Football Manager and stuff like that, and MMOs. Um, I had a lot more than that in EverQuest. Oof, had a lot of hours in that game. Um, so... Anyway, let's play an easy run. So as you can see, I've uh, everything's locked. We've got unlockable quests and all that. We're going to start with the base ship. We're actually going to start with the only ship we can, the Kestrel. Uh, we're going to play on easy. We're going to have advanced content enabled. Let's go. We're going to do a run. Let's see. Okay, first thing is switch these two over. So the reason you do this, if, if your weapons get hit and you lose one health, boom, that will go down. And you'll still have the burst laser. And this burst laser... This is our primary attack weapon, right? This is what we're using. So we want to keep that on. I like auto fire on, it's up to you. We don't need anything in our med bay uh, until we use it. So we're going to put it all in engines. Uh, these people, these crew, you want them to man, right? So you want to man them. So you have to have someone on piloting. If you don't jump, you can't jump, right? But everything else is optional, right? So this guy on weapons, what will happen is the speed at which you fire, you see this down here, the burst laser. If I take a guy off, oh, look, it gets a little bit longer. It takes a little longer to fire. Put him back on. Oh, it gets a little shorter. Now, so he speeds up the firing, and he can skill up. If you look at him, he has skill levels here. 58, if he fires the weapon 58 times, or any weapon 58 times, he will now become 10% faster. And you can do that twice. So you can get two skill ups total, uh, or two up uh, level ups total. To make him faster and you really want to get those they're really handy it's it, it makes a difference uh this guy is manning our engines which means that we will have a slightly better chance to evade uh, any incoming stuff but we could put him on shields and then our one shield here let me which regenerates like this that will happen faster with a person on it than off it we could put him on sensors, which means that we could start seeing ships, what's inside ships and stuff like that. You can also upgrade the systems, of course. All of these can be upgraded. Um, or we can put him on doors to lock the doors. Now, we're going to keep him on engines because we want the evasion. Uh, when we get another person in, we're going to put them on doors, not shields. Um, I know some people like the upgrading shields. I don't think it's as valuable as doors. That little extra boost you get from the shields is like... In hard, it can matter when you're timing weapons on easy. You don't need to. So the other thing I was going to say is that they, if you press this button here, it will save the crew positions. They're already saved, but I'm going to press it anyway. And then wherever you move them, oh, yeah, there we go, let's move them. You move them to here. All I have to do is click this button or hit enter, uh, and it will return to where they were. So you want to do that. Whenever you get a new crew member, you have to remember, oh, I'm going to put them on the doors, save all the positions. All right, let's get into this. Store, we don't want to go to a store. We haven't got any money. So what should we do? Let's see. This is a good position at the end here. Uh, there's Nebula here, which is good. Nebula can be a little awkward, but they slow the enemy fleet down so you can reach more beacons. These are beacons. Uh, so we want to use those as best we can. So I think we want to go down here to start with. Uh, on easy, you start with 30 scrap. You get a little bit less scrap as you get harder. Um, I don't know what else changes in the game when it gets harder, but it gets a lot harder. Uh, just in general, I think, you know, they have more shields and stuff like that. Um, no, we are, well, we're going to risk. We need scrap. That's what you need early on. Okay, that's nice. Three fuel. Uh, so a lot of uh, pro gamers will uh, keep their fuel very low. I personally forget fuel all the time, so I like having it high. <laughs> I value fuel, value fuel very highly. In this game uh, we've also got 10 missiles for our Artemis I don't really like missile runs uh, I don't know just bugs me you run into a defense drone and your whole thing is falls apart you know 
Um, okay, so evaluate their weapons. So he's got a laser, a beam rather, and a burst laser. So this will fire one or two shots, it's probably two shots. Um, and then a couple of seconds after that, I think this is eight seconds, this is 10 seconds, this will fire, which means my shield will be down. So ideally what we want to do is try and take out his weapon before the beam fires. I don't think the Artemis fires quick enough to do that, but we're going to have a look. So this will fire one shot, actually. I think it's one shot. And then, oh, we got it. So that was about to fire before my shields came up. So that was nice. Uh, do we want to accept their offer? Usually early in the game, no. And in th But in this case, also no. You know, the early game, sometimes you get a really good deal from them. They offer you something good. But uh, usually you're better off just just killing them. Uh, also, the weapon starting weapons, the Artemis missile and the burst laser. The burst laser is uh, possibly the best weapon in the game. It only costs two power and it has three shots over tw and it shoots every 12 seconds, which is really good. A couple of upgrades, like your man upgraded um, so they're shooting faster and your automated reloader augment, stuff like that, and it's firing really fast. Uh, ship explodes. Okay, so we've got three fuel, two um, missiles, 22 scrap. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So we're up to 66. Uh, let's see. Okay, so make it even easier. We are going to immediately get ourselves. Uh, I don't quite have enough. You want to get your shields up early. But okay, we got it ready. We're going to get a little bit of cash in. We'll be able to buy power. Shields early just makes the early run so easy because enemies can't kill you, <laughs> basically. Uh, we're going to attack. Okay, so he has an Artemis. I think he has the same where it might be a Leto missile. And he's got that. So we want to go... His missile is almost certainly going to hurt, hit us. So actually, you know what? We're not going to fire the Artemis. We're going to fire the burst, burst laser and see if it can take out the Artemis. It can't. Because we're trying to uh, we're trying to preserve our missiles, right? We don't want to shoot as many all the missiles. We want to keep as many as we can behind because they're a commodity. So we'll do the same again. Hopefully, it will take it out this time. It does. Ooh, that was quick. You know what? We're just going to take it out. There we go. So now we're going to uh, let's see. It's interesting. You want to take out their shields if you can. Just makes everything easier. And then as long as the systems are down, you can go for piloting. But actually, he brought it back up, so we're going to go for uh, his missile again. There we go. Nice. Send in a couple of guys to repair the doors. 23. Okay, so we have 39. So we could get one more power and upgrade our shields. And let me just check to see if there's a store nearby. You know what? No, it wouldn't matter anyway, because we wouldn't be buying from a store right now. So now, boom, boom. Okay, so our um, dodge is very low, right? Evasion is only plus five, um, because we only have one power in it. But we got two shields, which makes us, we can enter lots of different things. We can go into um, asteroid fields. We don't have to worry so much about ion weapons. So, like, let's see what this guy's got. So, for example, this guy has a... Uh, a combat beam and a beam weapon rather a beam drone and a beam weapon this guy can't hurt us so we don't need to fire any artemis missiles um we could choose how we want to do this i say let's take down his shields first you know if you wanted to gimp the game out you could actually just fire one shot from this weapon and then depower it um and get your skill ups because look every time this guy fires right he's skilling up so there's a lot of more. He's got a lot more to go. Uh, if you have a fast firing weapon, it really helps. Like a Vulcan, that thing will go up like crazy. You can get that to uh, you can get him to second level very very quickly. Uh, but here we go. One more shot should do it. Lovely jubbly. Oh, and a second bonus. We love it when we get the second bonus. Now we're doing well. Look at that, 23 fuel. So I didn't mention it before, but basically you want to stay ahead of this line, right? This is the rebel fleet. They're coming for your, to be coming for you. Um, so you want to stay ahead of it, but you want to skirt it because you want to 
visit as many of these beacons as you can before you hit the exit because you're just accumulating weapons scraps augments skill that's what you're doing because at the end of this whole run i'll show you on the beacon screen you're going to meet the rebel flagship if you make it that far and if you meet the rebel flagship you need to be powerful to take it on okay um so we could hit the store but we only have 58 and what do we have to sell we have almost nothing to sell an artemis which i think sells for 20 if we're lucky maybe only 15 which would give us what 60 75 73 and there's not much you can buy with that so we're actually not going to go to that store hmm. i could go does that touch i could go here 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 yeah okay so let's go here first you can measure it and do all that stuff. I just never bother. I just never bother. Guess it. Uh, okay, so they want to arm the weapons. Let's see what have they got. Oh, okay, so they have a combat drone and a laser. But then now this is where the two shields really, really helps. So he can't hurt me. Now it is possible this drone, you got to be careful with this because you think the timing is set, right? Look. But it's possible for the combat drone to take a path that goes from roughly where my cursor is here to here, which is close enough between shield recharges so we could shoot here shoot here and then the beam fires and hits you so you know we're on easy it's not a big issue but you got to be careful of that stuff I, the chance of that are pretty slim so i'm still going to go for shields first and not use any missiles just not worth it so we've got his shields uh i'm going to take out his piloting um so we don't keep missing because i noticed we've been missing quite a lot i think this is a random uh, number generator game um, I think sometimes the seed you get is bad. I don't know. I, I could be just making that up. But um, good enough? Nope. Um, and there are, you seem to have runs where you just can't hit them. No matter what you do, you can't hit them. So you see how quickly that fired there? It almost got through. All right. There we go. 78. No, nope, still not enough. We'll go up here. See, if we go up here, though, we're forcing ourselves into the store. But here, let's say we get 10 scrap if we're lucky. 88 in the Artemis. I don't know. I'm tempted to not bother with the store. I'm not going to. I love the store because you think you can get a good weapon. But the truth is, if you don't have the scrap, there's no point. There's no point. Forget about it. All right. Oh, these are lovely. I love these ones. Okay. Uh, he does have a missile. Hopefully he misses. Please miss. Miss? No, not me. Him. There we go. Lovely jubbly. All right. So sometimes they have, I don't know what it is. There's like a, they have some system on board that you can't see, but it, look, it disabled one level of my shield. You've got to keep an eye on that. All right. Automated chips. We love automated chips. Again, we don't necessarily want to fire the... The only reason we would fire our missile and use up that resource is if it could take this out. But we can't take this out, so there's no point in doing it. We can't take it out before it fires, so there's no point in doing it. Now then, we need to put this fire out. So the best way to do this... Just to get our dude out of there, put him in here, and we're going to vent. Get all of the oxygen out of the room. Hopefully we can put that out before it comes down and hits our weapons room. Yeah, looks good. Close the doors. Oh, do good. Now we got some scrap. Okay, so... Could go crazy and get third shields here, I think. 40 and 60s. Uh, yeah, we almost could. Almost could. Um, but I think... I was going to say, put some money into weapons or doors. But you know what? We could get crew. And there's no point putting money into weapons until we've figured out our plan. So let's just save the scrap up. Let's just save it up. Just in case something amazing comes up in a store. Okay, let's see. What's he got? Uh, okay, he only has a laser... So he can't hurt us. He's trying to get away, which means that we need to hit his piloting to stop him escaping. Otherwise, it's lost scrap. And sometimes uh, the fleet advances more quickly. 
Oof, that was a bad start. So we're going to use a missile. Hopefully that will hit. Very nice. Now, because he can't hit us, we're going to take the shields out, and then it's one. Yeah, so if they try to escape, if you see where it says uh, enemy FTL delayed, it's their light jump is delayed because it took out their piloting. If it's charging, you really want to get them before they can escape, because if they escape and they alert the rebel fleet, now you are forced to the end. And actually, it's, they, they get to the end beacon much quicker. And actually, it's possible for them to overtake you. So no matter what happens, your next jump, you'll be fighting a very difficult fight um, where they have artillery support and stuff like that. That's what happens when you get behind this line. Okay, so I'm in the nebula. How can I do this? I don't think I timed this perfectly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's try this one. Uh, tiny asteroid belt, you most small ship struggling to maneuver. Let's offer them. Should we shield them? If we shield them, we'll take damage, but sometimes it's good. Oh, there we go. Didn't take damage. Oh, we're uneasy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is this two? One, two. So I could do one, two. I'm not quite enough for three. So I'm going to go down here. Oh, this is often damage as well. Dock of the re wait for the finished crash. Okay. Oh, and intruders. All right, so this is how I deal with intruders. <laughs> I just find it easy. Vent the whole ship, right? And then put all of your people in there. If you only have three, it's great. Makes it even easier. Uh, turn on your med bay. And they're going to be forced to coming in there with you. And you're healing while they're dying. And now you can shut all the doors and recharge all the, all the uh, oxygen. It just makes it a really easy way to do that. Um... It doesn't work, obviously, if it's a boarding drone because they don't take oxygen, so they don't care if you open it. It also is a little hard to manage sometimes if you have more than three crew, which you obviously will do many times in this game. Then it can be a little difficult about where you place them. Invariably, what I do is I, I will put as many as I can in the med bay, as many as I can in the door bay, uh, door control, so that the, door, the lock doors are difficult. And then I'll vent, and if there's a lot of the enemy, close doors along their path to the med bay. So you're at least you're sapping their health through uh, suffocation. Suffocation. Okay, moving on. Those events suck because you never get any money out of them. All right, let's hit the distress, see what's happening here. Lead them to their destination, get 11 scrap out of it. And then out to the exit. Just ahead of the rebel line so the fight won't be difficult. Or maybe no fight. Oh, ship with uh, pirate markings orbiting a nearby moon. No, we're going to attack. Okay, similar scenario here. This will fire before I can take it out. So if the burst laser hits this weapon, takes it out, then we're good. If not, then we would have fired the Artemis. We don't need to fire the Artemis, so we can just do that. Let's get this guy. Let's repair the oxygen. Hopefully take their shields out here. Not accept their sucky offer. And there we go again, actually. I think I'm going to let him fire again here. Did I time it wrong? Oh, there we go. Bubbly jubbly. All right. 195 scrap, end of first sector, pretty good. Okay, so this back here, the hostile sector at the end, this is where you will meet the rebel flagship. It's the same as these other sectors, or very similar to these other sectors, but right at, instead of an exit, there's the uh, rebel flagship, um, the home base, as it were. Okay, so we can either go to the abandoned sector or the pirate control. Pirate control has more stuff in it. Abandoned sector can be very empty and boring. Let's do pirate control, it's more interesting. Red is hard. Green is easy, quote unquote easy, and blue is nebula. Nebula can be a little frustrating to play sometimes because sensors often doesn't work. There's a lot of plasma fields, so you just suddenly lose energy and stuff. They can be annoying, but you get to jump to more beacons in them. But there's also less stores, so it's a balance of what you want to do. There are a few achievements that are also tied with specifically going into nebulas. So if you're an achievement hunter, you will have to deal with it. Okay, what do we got here? So we could go down here, up here, up here, down here, up here, down, up, down. 
So we're going to take as many as we can before we get to the quest. One, two, three. Let's do it that way. I've often wondered if you can actually hit every beacon. If, if it's possible in some way. Because there are a couple of events. If you don't get events, no. But there are events where you can delay the rebel fleet up to like three turns. So possibly. No. Five damage to the hull. That's annoying. Okay, let's repair up. Now we get to a store. We are going to need to start repairing this hole. It's getting a little low. It's not terrible, but uh, we don't see a store yet. Let's jump into the nebula here. See, that happens. That's why the nebulas can be annoying. So it's the wreckage. Oh my god, such a frustrating event. So we lost him, but not only did we lose him, it of course also means that it also means that uh, we lose any skill-ups he had. So he was getting close, possibly, to faster firing. We lost that. Okay, so we need to jump. We could go to a distress, or we could go to another nebula. You see how it's much smaller the jump is with nebula? Uh, let's go to the nebula again. It can't be another. Get the power back, surely, yes. Okay, intruders. Well... You know the strategy with the intruders, right? It is to open every door. Close this up. Put them in there. There we go. Now there are more than three. So you see that they're uh, actually... I've got to close the doors before they break the system. Otherwise it's a pain in the ass. There we go. Oh, I got it just in time. <laughs> okay, so these uh, the guys, if there's more than three so they can't all fit in the med bay, their guys will try and destroy a system even if it's out of air, because where else are they going to go? But then as soon as the spot opens up in the med bay, they will come and attack you. All right, so that's that there. Let's repair this doorway. Door system, rather. Enter to go back to your posts. I'm kind of tempted to put him on weapons just to get them sh firing faster, but hmm, you know what? Um, should I get my third shields? Let's do it. Again, just protection. We might run into if we run into missile weapons, then it's obviously very different, but. Shields are really good. They make it hard. Like right now, look, this I think shoots four. So it's really good that we <laughs> just bought that extra shield. Although I'm pretty sure the game has some system with knowing what you buy and adapting. So this is one shot and this is three shots. So this can make it through. This is a danger to us. But because we had three, it, only, it means he has only got to miss one shot and we're safe, which is what just happened. All right, take out shields. Lovely jubbly. And let's take out his piloting because he's not going to be able to repair that whole system in time. Beautiful. Moving on. Let's get the reward from this quest. Hopefully a reward. I'm not aha, an aha moment. Hey, they upgraded the reactor by one. We could use that. Very handy. We do need a store soon, though. So let's head up and around. We could go down. No, no, we're going up. Hopefully there's a store. Okay, what do we got here? We have... See, this is where those shields... They don't do anything. <laughs> because they're... Uh, the enemy missile is just going to pass straight through them. That's good. Hopefully we'll take it out. There we go. Very nice. That's his weapon down. So drone ships do repair their own systems. Even though there's no one on there. They do repair their own systems. But very slowly. And if there is a breach in the room. So if you hit this room and you breach it. You can't see now because... Can you see if... Uh, there we go. So if there were a hole in here. Like if there were a breach then it cannot repair that system. 
So if I breach this, I know it will never get repaired. Right now, behind the scenes, this, AI, the, this drone ship is working on repairing the uh, weapons. And if I left it long enough, it would, there we go, gets a weapon back. Um, unless it's breached, as I said, and then it cannot repair it. Okay. That's that done. No store. Hmm. How many jumps we got here? One, two, maybe three. So let's go here. Does that connect to here? No. Here. See, I'm worried I'm going to jump here and this is going to show up. But I don't think I have enough to get to that. Or that. So I think it's only that or that. So we should go here. Hopefully one of those ones I mentioned is a store. Pay their toll? I don't think so. You only have one shield. You do have a flak. But we have three stars, and you have a flak, and is that a beam or an ion? Let's see. It's an ion stunner. So this will stun anyone in the room, shields for 10 seconds. It's not relevant, we don't have anyone in here. I don't think they can hurt us. Oh, yeah, they can. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot, this takes down one shield, and the flak can hit three. We actually got unlucky there. All three of the flak pieces hit, which is... Not that common, but... Uh, do we want your offer? No. No, we would like to see you die. Yes, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. All right, let's take out their piloting. Let's repair this guy. Heal him up. Back you go. Okay. Yeah. What are we down to here? Hmm. Store? Okay, is that two jumps or one? Whew, this is tight. A little tight. Well, we can go here and measure again. I've actually seen people who put stuff on their screen to measure it. They have like a little ruler or a little thing to, to perfectly measure the size of it. And there are actually mods, I think, which show you every single jump precisely so you know. Um, yeah. We always accept. We'll take the drone parts. That's good. Now then. Just tight. So, let's try it. Because you early game, you want to get as much scrap as possible, as I said. Okay. Two is on board. Okay, so this is a pulsar. This is actually an annoying pulsar situation. Because what we have here is... This is... Uh, this sun is going to fire and it's going to uh, set these rooms on fire so I leak the oxygen out right but there's a chance it can take down a system like it might take out take out our doors while we're fighting and now I can't close the doors so you get into this annoying cycle where you get a solar flare you're not charging the engines because I don't have anyone on the engines because I have to fight these guys so we'll take these two out if this fire is manageable, which is not great, close the doors, that should go out. And now we're going to move him to start charging the FTL jump. Did I pick the right guy? I did. So hopefully we can recharge before the next solar flare. I think it's going to be tight though. we're not so if we're not going to make it i'm going to vent again to make sure get all of the air out there and then if the fire comes hopefully the fire doesn't come in here there we go that's not bad now i can close uh wait why didn't it close oh that was a bonehead move okay screwing this up by the way Let's put him on repairs. Let's juice him back up. We can get out of here pretty quickly. Let's make as much of the repair as we can before we jump. So, solar flare, you have a moment, you have a moment. Oh! You hear the sound go? <laughs> you kind of want to gimp it. Okay, we did well here. So, we get to the exit just before. So, we just beat that solar flare. He's still repairing. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Uh, I think this is the cheapest way to repair as well. 20 damage. Now, how much is each of these? 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10. So I could repair 10 and get me up to there, or 20. Let's do 10. That's enough. Uh, full health is good, but just, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit a store soon enough, and I want to keep my scrap, so. Okay, we got through that section. Let's jump out of here. Now, do we want the abandoned section of Mantis? So Mantis Homeworlds means boarding. And frankly, boarding is usually a lot of fun, but I only have two humans, which means the Mantis would probably annihilate me. <laughs> so even on easy, it's tough, right? So we're going to go to the abandoned sector. Mantis are just the combat uh, units of the game. They're very strong. They're slow at repairing, but they move real fast, and they can just get through uh, your crew very, very quickly. So if you're doing a boarding run, you want to pick up some Mantis. If that's what you want to play, the strategy you want to play, get Mantis. It's a really fun strategy, actually, boarding. We'll show, I'll show you in a different run. Okay, what do they want? Um, they seem to be carrying anyone. So for a brief... They wish to trade... So we give them three drone parts and 29 scrap, and they'll give us something. We don't know what it is. It's usually not very good, but I'm going to show you it anyway. Okay, let's see what it is. They leave it out of work, but what did we get? Oh, no. Oh, I'm an idiot. I sold. This is good, actually. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played. I sold three drone parts for 29 scrap. I'm an idiot. I thought that that's what they were charging me. Okay, so That's the deal. It's done. It's done. But that's good. We need scrap, and we don't need drone parts right now. So it's all good. I got lucky. Uh, let's see. Down, 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 up. What do we think? Yeah. Okay. ASB, RSB. So we have a battery that's going to attack this ship from the planet's surface. Hopefully the hacking won't hit anything important. It doesn't. We're good. Um, sometimes this battery can hit you. <laughs> uh, I think I'm not making that up. I'm sure it's happened to me where it's hit me. Leave in the comments if you remember that. All right, shields are down. As I said, it can't hit me. ABS target lock is about to get hit and punch a hole right through it. Boom. Done. There we go. We like that. Okay, we're out of there. I'm going to go here. Empty beacon. Let's jump up here. We should be able to dive into that store next round. We're down to six fuel, so we need some fuel. Okay, this should be fairly simple. It does have a... Uh, probably a smart bomb. We, it's difficult to tell what this is. It could be ion. It could be a breach bomb that just creates a hole in your hull. It could be a smart bomb, which just does damage. It's hard to tell where it is. But in general, they're kind of devastating. <laughs> Those things. Those little things. It's a, it's not the most enjoyable strategy as the player, but when you're faced with them, they can uh, really cause you an upset. Um, the other thing I've noticed is the AI seems... It feels like they have every system you can get except for... Uh, and every augment that you can get except for... Um, well, actually, can they get augments? I was going to say except for the, the weapon pre-igniter. But do they get any augments? Yeah, they get, there's one that rejects, that, that like gives you a 50% chance of stopping or all damage, all ion damage, I think it is. And I think you can run into enemies that have that. They have anti-hacking. So there are some they can get, but they can't get um, the um, weapon pre-igniter, which is an augment that allows you to fire as soon as you enter the beam. Very powerful. Okay, these are the Lanius. First time we met these. So these guys don't get oxygen, so if they board you, venting doesn't work. Uh, these are really hard boarders. They're not as um, difficult to fight one-on-one -on -one as the Lani, as the uh, Mantis, but they drain the room of oxygen. So here we're okay, and they can't hurt us. So here we're okay, but um, got to be wary of these guys. They can be very difficult. So let's take out... They're kind of slow repairing, so we're going to take out his piloting. And then if we hit, we should every shot will hit from then on. How close am I to skilling up? Oh, 13. Getting closer. 10 more dodges, or 3 more dodges, and uh, I'll be able to dodge even more effectively. Wow. Let me 
missing a lot. I have enough. I have enough um, missiles to risk this. I'm just going to use it. <laughs> okay. Let's turn that off. There we go. Hmm. It's not a very good offer, but I need fuel. Did I see a store? No, we're not going to accept it because I think there's a store. Did I get that wrong? Yeah, we we're about to go to a store, right? Yes. No. Shit. <laughs> ah, six is enough. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, we could go over here. Let's do the quest. Hey, they might. The quest actually often rewards fuel, so we'll see. Or nothing. Go. Oh. Okay, all right, so this is, oh, this is good. This is very, we got a crew member out of this, so this is actually very good. Let's put everyone over here. So let me show you what um, I would do if I have too many players. So I can put this guy in here, and then if I lock these two doors, now they're stuck there, right? So now you've slowed them down enormously, so you're just going to drain them. Now it looks like these guys might have... Um, what do they call that? Uh, uh, rebreathers, oxygen rebreathers. So they're not losing health as fast as you would expect. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these guys in, and then I'm going to lock that door. So I get two in, lock the door, and I'm going to let him in. Here we go. Let him in. You know what I mean? Rude not to. All right, send everyone back. Oh, so you see, I didn't do that thing I said you should do, <laughs> which is that you put your... Oh, no, we just got him. That's why. So put your guy on um, whatever station you want and then hit save your crew positions. And then no matter where they are, you hit enter and they'll go back to it. All right, moving on. Going up here. One, two, three, four, maybe five. One, two, three... Not crazy about this route. Mm. Okay, Lanius again, not boarding, which is good, but they do have a big ass flak. I think that's a flak too. And we have an iron pulse. So this is annoying. This can take our shields out completely. We're not getting no. We're doing well. So yeah, look, that's a. Oh, that's just a regular flak. That was a very unfortunate hit. Very unfortunate. So we're going to fire a missile at them. As soon as that's fired. There we go. Like that. Yeah, that was very unlucky the way that worked out. But it's all over for them. It's all over. So these pulses tend to take out um, the shields first, right? Um, but they can take out any system. So they can take out, and if they take out your weapons and your shields in one hit, this, this can kill you, basically. The, the actual pulsar won't kill you, but the situation it puts you in can very quickly kill you. So what you want to do once the battle is over, you want to re let your shields recharge. Otherwise, you're going into the next zone with no shields. And you can see the pulse happened, and it reset this to four ticks. So I'm waiting for this to go down. Two ticks. The pulsar is going to hit again. I think. Just about. So I could jump right there. In fact, I'm going to. But I could. You see, this is where, if this were up here, I would probably want to just. Because you wait. I would just want to wait. Because if you wait, you can go through a cycle. Let the pulsar go down, let the shields recharge, and you can jump safely. I'm going to take a risk, but uh, you could wait. Okay, so let's go. I really don't like this route. Let's go up here. Okay, so this, I think, we can get an augmentation, a weapon, or a schematic. Now, none of these are good. We don't want the drone. I don't think I'm doing a drone run. The augmentation can be really bad. We could get them to craft a weapon, but it's usually crap. So I'm just going to show it to you, although I would usually decline all of these. The weapon's going to be junk. It's going to be an ion or something. 
flat gun. I mean, flat gun isn't junk, but we just pay 50 for one. <laughs> it's 65 in the store. It's just not something I would have bought. The flak is fun. It's not It's not a horrible weapon. Not horrible. It actually was a little better than it normally is. So in order to use it, though, we need some juice. So let's give ourselves a little juice. See, now we have flak. Mm, we could put one more in here. Yeah, and then if we need to power up the Artemis, we can do that. There you go. Yeah. All right, so the flak fires every 10 seconds, three shots. Uh, it's good. It's a fun weapon. All flak is a, is a fun way to play. Uh, people talk about the flak all the time because it takes down shields, right, really quickly. One hit of flak can take down three shields. It just happened to us a few maps ago. Uh, let's see, where we go? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, we'll have to go that way. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Got nothing again. He can't hurt us. You see, here's the advantage to building up those shields, particularly on easy. He just can't hurt. So here's the flak. Fires after 10 seconds. I waited to fire my burst laser. Actually, I think it times out perfectly. Sometimes it hits as well. That time it did, it was good. Here we go. Very nice. The other big advantage is the flak is that it often takes out their drones. Which is kind of cool. Uh, no, we're not accepting that offer. So it could take out their drones, or it can take out their attacking drones, which it just did there. Took out one of their drones. Your lasers can do that too. It's just very rare with lasers. Flak, it seems to happen more often. Okay, what do we get? We got two. Uh, we are definitely getting low on fuel here. Twenty-seven scrap. We've got anti-ship beam drone two, which should sell good. I think that's vendor trash, but it should sell nicely. Okay, Lanius ship, please don't be boarding. No boarding, we like that. I'm going to put the flak onto their shields. I'm going to wait to fire and we'll fire. Oh, we got very, very nice. We got lucky there. Um, flak still on their shields, and we're going to take out their piloting. That was easy. Oh, fuel. Okay, nice gift. Okay, we put us up to eight. We got good reward there. So how many jumps is this? Is that two? <laughs> I think that's two. I'm gonna risk it. You know what? The worst thing that can happen is I can you'll get to see what happens if you get behind the line. Uh, which is not the end of the world. It it's it's hard on hard. Of course that makes sense but it's um on easy it's not that big of a deal i say that and i'll fall behind the line and get immediately destroyed because i haven't played this in so long you know what that flak was a good but good purchase i'm taking it all back now i forgot how much fun it is to play with the flak it takes down their shields do we want three fuel yeah we do actually we're gonna take that it's not the greatest offer, but contextually, it is. We'll let you live. Oh, that's annoying. We can't go up there. And yeah, it was too. So I don't think we're going to get behind. Okay, Rebel Ship Garden, this beacon. You order a pursuit. Uh, let's see. This is fairly straightforward. They're going to board us. Flak on their shields. Just one dude. Oh, this is a piece of cake, mate. Piece of cake. Flax on their engines. Normally, if you want to stop them evading, you actually want to hit piloting, not engines. Because engines always has at least two points in it, I think. I don't think I've ever seen it. Which means that even if you get a square hit on it, there might be some... It'll only go orange, not red. 
which implies they still have some level of evasion. If you hit piloting and it goes red, it's out. That's it. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much always want to actually go for piloting. Uh, okay, we will take that. We don't want the battery charger, but this is a great offer. Four fuel, a drone part, 42. Yeah, that's great. We're taking that. Um, the flak is a, a vague aim um, weapon. So, like on my ship, if I aimed it at the end here, there's a chance stuff will go off the side. If I aimed it in this middle room, it's just got more area to hit, right? Center of mass kind of thing. So in that case, going for the pilot station, I might have missed. But going for the engines, even if I missed, I can hit the room next to it. Okay, board the station, look for survivors. Yes, always. 19, 291 scrap. That was a good sector. And we got an easy one coming up. NG Homeworlds, it is. Okay. NG space, let's see, what have we got here? Store right away, shall we? Yes. Rude not to. It's just an NG trader looking for trade. Okay, what do we have? We have a boarding beam, a boarding drone, beam drone. I do love the beam drone. If you can take their shields down, this thing is devastating. <laughs> it's so devastating. There's just a lot of variables in play that make it not great. Anti drones useless. I mean, there is, I'm trying to think, there is that phase in the Rebel. No, it's useless, it's useless. Okay, systems, they have drone control, which comes with the free system repair drone. You don't need that. Backup battery is advanced. It gives you more power for a limited amount of time. Um, you need that. It's very handy in certain strategies. Uh, clone bay replaces the med bay, right? So you just let people take damage until they die, and then a new one will appear. I hate the clone bay. Because if it gets damaged, you just lose that crew member, you know. And if there's no strategy for fighting the enemy with it. Okay. Weapons here. They've got burst laser one. Meh. They've got Pegasus. Meh. They've got hull laser two. Meh. They're all me. This is powerful, the hull laser two, but it's 75 scrap and it requires three power, which is a lot. Because we can only get eight power total. Um, automated reloader is great. It improves by 10% and it's very noticeable. Long range scanners are pretty good depending on the type of ship you have. For the Kestrel, you don't really need them because you can survive most hazards. But if you're in a ship later on in the game where you know you have no shields, you need to know if it's an asteroid field, otherwise it's going to kill you. Uh, reverse iron field is the augment I was talking about. I'm pretty sure that the enemies do get this sometimes. I'm going to buy the automated reloader because I like it. Do we have anything to sell? Oh, we have the Beam 2 weapon. The battery charger. So we'll give them the battery charger. Should we get rid of this? Yes, we're not going to do a drone run. Okay, so we have 301. Let's take some repairs. Let's take some fuel. I'm taking it all. Anything else? Is there anything I missed? Page one? No. No crew. You know, you often get crew in this game just by events, but sometimes it's good to crew just to get it out of the way to make sure because not having enough crew is a quick way to die mesh the musk you can help no no sure no it's just not your concern federation actually they're ng so they're kind of robotic this is not your concern in federation uh, and apparently transitioning boob trap yes you always want that always want that delay the fleet so that's one of those events I was saying where maybe if you get enough of those, you could visit every beacon. There's probably not... I, I, I'd be cool if there was an Easter egg in there that if you do that, something happens, but I don't think there is. I think I'd have seen it online if there was. Uh, yeah, we got three shields. We can explore the asteroid field. Another reason to get your shields up. Am I right? Oh, we got so... Look at this. We're in scrap heaven. Buy a beautiful little... Mansion. Oh my god. And the cheapest fuel in the game. They say you get cheap fuel. So I always buy six because I just don't like worrying about fuel. Again, if you run out of fuel, it's not the end of the game in this. But it's a really frustrating situation. You have to wait for a passing ship and sometimes it will give you fuel. Sometimes you fight it and it won't give you fuel. There's nothing you can do. It's just really annoying. So uh, let's investigate the battlefield and initiate a fight. What have we got here? Okay, so this guy has a beam weapon. 
So it's only the Artemis that we need to worry about. So we're going to drop the flat cannon and actually I'm going to boot up our Artemis. Yeah, let's see. I don't think we can fire before him, can we? No. So we're going to... Let's see if we can take out... Oh, that was annoying. Okay, so that's why we booted up the Artemis right there, right? Because we missed. So now, hopefully, this will not miss. There we go. We're going to hold our flak just a little bit because we want to time it with the burst laser. So we have auto fire on, so we basically have to detarget it. See, that's targeted. If I pick it up, it's not targeted. We want to wait until the other weapon's ready. So now this can go in, and when the flak gets close, fire the burst, and it's not taking on the shields. And that's the primary use of the flat cannon. So now the flat cannon I'm going to put up here. So it's going to be harder for it to hit that because it's the piloting. It did hit, but see how it's got less real estate to hit than down here? Um, do we take their offer? No. What do we get? We got one fuel, always good. One drone part, 46 scrap. God, we got scrap happy. Scrap happy fool. Uh, what's this? Oh, they want an escort. I mean, sure, it's free fuel. Don't have to do it. If you don't finish it, nothing happens. <laughs> don't come back and haunt you, which they should. Not haunt you necessarily, but it, there should be a punishment for not finishing quests. It's the one thing they missed a trick with here. You can just take quests and you don't get the second reward, but still, it means there's never a reason not to take the quest. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, or kind of an oversight of one of the best games ever made, he says. <laughs> there we go. All right, what do we got here? We can buy Crew Teleporter. That's if we were doing the teleport run. We're definitely not. We don't have any Mantis. Climb Bay sucks. Mind Control's fun uh, because you can mind control, say, their pilot and reduce their evasion. And because they are now fighting for you, other people on the ship will run to try and combat them. It's actually a very fun mechanic. Um, I have found, though, if you buy it, you start running into ships that have it. I don't know whether they're related or not. I'm, they, I, I, I do know, because it happens all the time. So We could buy some crew. See, this guy's already got a skill up. Look, this guy can fire faster, which would be handy at this stage, and pilot faster. Um, our pilot is almost ready. In fact, already has one upgrade, so we don't need that. I might buy a crew member here. I'm going to. All right, so we're going to buy Gios, right? And he is going to fa start firing the weapons. Because Valeria is going to take forever to skill up. So instead, Valeria, we're going to move on to the door. We're going to save our positions. And now everything fires a little bit quicker. Okay, is there anything I missed there on the store? Anything to sell? No, no, no. Weapons, fire. Fire strategy is fun. It is actually really fun. But... You want the flame beam, really. And, and th this and the flame beam is awesome. But this on the road on its own is not great. Anti-bio beam sucks. Terrible strategy. I feel it's underpowered, actually. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's the charge time on this should be faster for it to really work well. Um, and then heavy ion damage is... Actually, ion damage is very, very useful in the late game. But we're not going that route. We're going raw power. There's going to be no finesse in the way that we beat the flagship on this. We are just going to kick the living shit out of it. Uh, okay, so we have an NG crew member, and that gives us a blue option. Blue option is like the special option. Normally, we would get just these two, the white ones, and probably a third white one of just, like, piss off and walk away or something. Um, oh, that's, that's what that is. But now that we have an NG, we can uh, do something special. So your NG refuses to talk. He says, the ships are achieve a union. I think they're having sex. Yeah, they are. The, the two NG ships had sex. So, uh, this is only fans. <laughs> I think I got that quote right. Isn't that what that is? Um, all right. <laughs> uh, moving on. Okay, so much scrap. So many missiles that I'm not using. I think I should upgrade my ship. Uh, let's help them out. NG crew can repair it. Oh, my God. Okay, there's no store here. Let's do something. What should we upgrade? 
So we could upgrade the weapons, we could get the doors is good because we're going to get started boarding soon. We could put some money into the engines. A little bit, there we go, like that. So now we have enough juice for everything. Still leaves with 296, so we'll accept that. And now our evasion, right up here, you see this? It goes up to 29%. So if you see it's 29%, unmanned, you lose 7% because he has a skill up. If this guy didn't have a skill up, then it would go up 5%. And equally, if we move the pilot off, down to 22%. Again, because he has a skill up. So it's 5% evasion. Level 1 is 7%. Level 2 is 10% evasion. Um, so just manning it, you get an additional 5%. Uh, okay, so that's not bad. Nearly 30% evasion. Uh, but I don't think we want to do anything else. Let's take one more jump before we go to the exit. Assistance requested danger present, imminent destruction. Okay, two shields now. We're up to the two shielders. Again, this guy can't hurt us, but he is going to board us. So we're going to flack their weapons. Where's he going there? Okay, let's uh, air him out. Actually, no. What we're going to do is we're going to let him in. And we're going to fight him. Now, he'll probably teleport out of here real quick. Unless we do this. We're going to destroy his teleport. So now he can't get off of our ship. And the reason that's good is uh, we want to try and get a skill up. But you'll see how fast he kills. The Rockman has 150 health. And if it weren't for this med bay, the Mantis would kill him. Okay, so we want to go here. And here. They might repair this in time, actually, for him to get out of there. All right, there we go. Station hails you. Gratitude. Expected uh, probability of defeat without assistance, 86%. Mm -hmm -hmm. Suitable reward. So do we need fuel? Do we need a weapon? Do we need a drone? We don't need any of that. Let's see what the special is. Maybe it'll give us a new crew member. Threat unresolved. Maybe it's another quest? Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, another quest. Reestablishment of Federation. Highest import, transmitting hidden base coordinates, repairing hull and attaching ship to ship ordnance. Ship to ship, attaching ship to ship ordnance. Okay, got the heavy iron weapon. Is that the one 13 seconds that we saw earlier? Yes. Okay, well, got a free weapon out of it. And we got a continuing quest, which we'll see in the next sector as we are about to leave this one. And another ion blast. Which one's this? Eight seconds. Okay, so I wouldn't use that. So uh, I might turn this on. You know what? I'm actually going to turn this on. It's good. It's a handy little thing to have. We'll probably sell it because we're going, like I said, raw firepower. Okay, we can go to the home nebula or mantis control. We could handle probably mantis control now with the doors upgrades and with four crew. But let's take you into a nebula. Got an achievement for something. I was because I unlocked the next uh, ship. Isn't that nice? Um, okay. Fifth sector. NG, let's see. Oh, there's a store right away. We're going to do that. So where can we go? We can go here, 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 down, down, around, down, up, down. So they, in a regular sector, that section, the rebel fleet are slower through a nebula. That's also true in a nebula uh, uh, section. Uh, what do you call this? Beacon. But a little bit faster than slower. It's like a in-between speed. Okay, so what can we do here? We can get rid of that. We don't want that. They are selling cloaking, which is great. I mean, cloaking is the most powerful weapon in the game. The most powerful system in the game. Um, and it's kind of like the basic strategy, right? The base strategy when you play is if you get... Now, because I'm showing you this, I'm going to take it. But when you play... If you have a chance for getting cloaking, get it. Because it's it's the easiest strategy. It doesn't work in all circumstances. Um, but it does allow you to not take damage. And also, when you get to the flagship, the flagship always has cloaking. And if you don't have cloaking, it makes that fight a lot more difficult. Now you need really good defense. Like probably defense drones and high evasion and stuff like that. Um, but cloaking allows you to get around a lot of those issues. So there we go. 
It's a great system. So we bought it. Moving on. Hopefully I'll get to show you it in a fight. Uh, there we go. I've got one power in it. So the more power you have, the longer you cloaked, which is basically invisible. So I can get up to 15 seconds, as you can see. Uh, I don't need it right now. I don't think one should be enough. Because I'm just using it to when they fire. If they can hurt me, I will use the cloaking. You're immediately held by a dangerous looking ship guarding a station. I'm feeling generous today. I shall allow you to choose your own death. What do you like least? Oh, shields, oxygen, or weapons? Okay, we've got to have our shields. Uh, we've got to have uh, weapons. We don't have to have our oxygen. Uh, or we can pay him off. So oxygen, he'll just kill our oxygen system. So we just have to kill him quickly. Shouldn't be a problem. Especially now that we have Ion Blast. It's going to hit that. Flak. It's going to hit that. And Cloaking. So if he managed to get that shot off, we can guarantee, almost guarantee it won't hit. I'll show you how. He didn't get a shot off, so we didn't need it. Um, I'll show you anyway. So when they fire, you wait for them to fire. You don't have to wait. I'll show you next time. I didn't realize it was going to be so easy to destroy this. So it has a waste of time. There we go. We got our oxygen back. We've got 38 scrap, 3 fuel. Where's our oxygen level? Sometimes you might want to watch this. Sometimes in fights where your oxygen goes low, this can be down to like 10 or 11 or 12 percent. Um, you maybe don't want to jump straight away because the next sector may have <laughs> a uh, oxygen depletion thing and then immediately you're out of oxygen you're dying. So it's good to get your oxygen back up. You know, 70s, 80s is usually enough. Okay, let's go down here. Beacon and sectors, that's what they're called. We are in a sector jumping to beacons. There we go. Okay, so this has three shields. And it's got mind control. There you go. You get to see the mind control happening. So, um, not bad though. It mind controlled the door guy, which we don't really care about. There's no boarding. Boarding and mind control is difficult. Uh, so, we are... I think we're okay here. The halberd beam... That's a halberd beam. Can get through one shield. Can't get through three. And it's only a single fight. I think we're fine here. But let's take out the shield just to be safe. Now, you can't cloak... So you see he's run out of mind control now. I can send him back to repair. You can't cloak through a beam. The beam will not fire if you're cloaked. So I'm going to cloak just to show you what happens. So now my evasion goes up to 84%. It adds 60% by cloaking, right? And the shot will miss. And it lasts a certain amount of time. If you fire while cloaked, it reduces the amount of stealth, the stealth time. So firing basically negates stealth almost entirely. There's an augment you can get to offset that. So really, you don't want to be firing while stealthed if possible, unless you have that augment. Okay, you have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? Let them live or extend it. So with any other race, maybe let them live. But no, the slugs are deviants. They will screw you over. Sometimes you get a good result. Most of the time you get a crappy result. And that was a good result. We got 55 scraps. So it's good that we killed them. Uh, oh, we've got two stores. I could do hit both. Let's hit both. I don't normally get as many stores in um, Nebula. Uh, would you care for a fix-up? No. Don't trust them. Again, seriously. You don't want to trust the uh, slugs. They're very slippery, obviously. Store. Valuable technology. What have they got? Okay, they've got hacking. We've got drones that we don't want. That's, uh, Defense 2 is a good drone, though. But we don't have a drone system. We could do good drone control with a dr system repaired drone that we would immediately sell. With the crew teleport for boarding, we have hacking. Hacking is excellent. But you really need a defense scrambler with hacking for late game. Otherwise, it will just get shot down. Um, okay. Anything we need here? Anything we can sell? Not yet. They had something to buy, maybe. So let's go to the second store. What is this? What's he selling? Backup battery, no. Clone bay, no. Mind control, no. Although mind control, is, we're starting to meet it now, so it could be interesting. Uh, Josh Cubbin. Hello, Josh. 
Uh, we could buy a crew. Nah. Ooh. Okay, so Zoltan. You don't know about Zoltan yet. The good thing about Zoltan is they give you power. So I'm going to buy him just to show you. I'm going to buy him because he's going to recharge the shields faster. But he's also, if you watch down here, he's going to give us a power back. As soon as he gets on this system. Boop. Now we've got two levels. So it's going to, re it's going to reset a lot faster. And we get one power back that we can put into our engines so it's very handy save crew positions did that save yes uh nice so these shields are going to regenerate a lot quicker like i'll show you yeah you can't really tell <laughs> but it was quicker trust me it was quicker okay jump moving on what have we got uh Crappy slug ship. He's in trouble. Now, this can hit us. Look, this pike beam can hit us. The AI doesn't time its shots as well as it could. Uh, it's a hard enough game, I guess. They decided it's not worth it. But this thing can shoot, can fire four times. It could time its beam perfectly with this and cause some major damage. We don't need to worry. Because, look, three shots and we have three shields. Nothing to worry about. So what we're going to do is we are going to time the flak again, remember? Time the flak. Boom. And now we can fire our burst laser, hopefully take out the piloting. Nice. Now we don't need to time anything. I think we're fast enough here. Yeah. There we go. Nope. We will not accept surrender. We do not trust you, minor shatsi. Time it right, take out the shields with this, and then fire at it. All right. Oh, 40 scrap. So much scrap. Okay, quest, I want to go. Where should we go? Let's go here, here, here. We could maybe make it all the way around there. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, they're going to board us. What do they have? Three shots, stun. Oh, this is a little. This could be a little tough. Now the stun will stun anything that's in a room for ten seconds or five seconds. I can't remember. So I'm actually going to move him out. Now remember, if I move him out of this room, it's going to reduce my power, and I'm going to lose one shield. So I don't want to do it that way. I want to have one spare, and then I'm going to move him into this room. That when they board me, you know, hopefully they'll go straight for this room. But also it means that uh, when this ion hits, I will not be uh, taking any. Where are they? Oh, they're in here. Uh, when this ion hits, I will not be stuck in a room with Mantis eating my face. Why didn't this fire? Fire. Fire. It's annoying. Okay, we're actually going to cloak. Let it fire first so that we don't lose all of the time in the cloak. Firing, and now cloak. There you go, perfect. We're only going in here to slow him down. Look, we can gimp him. There we go. Nicely done. Let's... Uh Continue, let's take out shields. Beautiful. Say no scrap. I don't remember getting this much scrap on easy. <laughs> it's like a huge amount of scrap. I wonder if um am I just getting a good run here? I might just be getting a good run. How can I do this? I can do here. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have been boarded somewhere. Don't know where they are. Oh, we got no. They hacked our um, med bay. Where are they? They're here. So let's starve them out a little bit. Let's move a guy in here. So we can't use our old, uh, old faithful method of... Um, opening up all the doors and running into the medbay because uh, they've hacked our medbay. So let's get a third player in here to fight them.
No worries. No problem. We should get our medbay back. We can heal up our guys. Another massive chunk of... Um, scrap. I think I'm losing my mind. And this will be the only place I record that before I get submitted to an insane asylum. You'll be able to say, yeah, I saw that video. It's fucking terrible, man. Uh, okay, what do we got? Two. I'm having a hot flash. I think I'm going through the menopause. <laughs> it got really hot suddenly. Uh, hey, yay! More scrap, more fuel, and a dude. What can you do? He's a repair dude. All right, where should we put you? Put you on sensors, shall we? Um, yeah. Save the crew positions. I think I did this wrong. Can I do it? Let's try it. Oh, they're going to burn us out. Fire weapons. So they disabled our door system so we can't vent if they hit us with this firebomb. Which means all hands on deck, people. We have got to. Can they? Are they going to board us? No, not going to board us. We have got to um, take out those weapons quickly. Actually, what we can do is use our cloaking. Maybe. There we go. I didn't, actually didn't need to cloak there, but it gives us. Again, they can't even target us. So their weapons don't recharge as long as we're cloaked. So it slows them down. Even if even if uh, I haven't timed out the cloaking perfectly, it still slows them down. There we go. Almost there. Okay, hire a crew member. Do we need anyone? Not really. No, let's not hire anyone. We're good. Um, next sector. Okay, red. Rebel controlled. Sometimes you get a mini flagship here. I don't know if you get that on easy run, though. This is an easy run, as I've mentioned, so maybe not. All right. Asteroid field. What have we got here? Is that an ion? Yes, that's an ion and two drones. Okay, this is a little harder. So we need to hit, uh, let's get the ion blast on his shields and then try taking out these weapons. Because the beam drones alone are fine, right? It's this thing that's coming in now. The ion. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm going to uh, very quickly cloak. So, the cloak, as long as we don't fire anything. In fact, you know what? I am going to fire. So, watch. I'm going to leave the ion blast firing. And watch what happens to the timer bar on the cloaking. See that little jump down as soon as I fired? It just reduces the amount of um, cloaking time you have. So, you want to be careful of that. Uh, the reason I cloaked there, even though as it turned out I didn't really need it, is... Uh, there's multiple threats here. There was the ion. There was two drones which can't touch shields. But if there's no shields, they can do massive damage to you. I mean, they could have wiped me out, right? But there's not only the ion. There's the laser. There's also the asteroids. So I had three potential places where I could uh, get rid of my... Where I could take my shields down and let the drones in. So just to be safe, I decided... Uh, nah. Not going to do it that way. I'm going to cloak. Let's see. Oh, look at that. All three missed. All right. Let's hit him. Missed again. This guy's got good dodge. Let's take his piloting out. There you go, that'll do it. Piloting hit. Nice. Okay, now we're guaranteed to hit, so I guess we'll just let it go. Alright. Nice little battle there. Nothing too stressful, nothing too hard. 
Always demand the surrender of their goods. We're not walking away from you. Let's see what you got. You got three shields now. They're trying to get away from us. They got hacking coming in. Let's see where they're gonna hit. Okay, so you can pause it. I could I could cloak right now and this wouldn't be able to move. And then I could get all of my weapons charged up, fire them, uncloak, and this would hit. But it would have given me enough time. Thing is, it's only hitting my piloting, and they only have combat, combat, thing. They can't hurt me, basically. Unless this is a dual shot laser, but I don't think it is. So I'm going to time everything together, though. I'm going to get my ion blast hitting their shield. And then the flak hitting their shield. And then when their shields are down, there. See, they've got the defense drone, but it's a Mark 1. So the Mark 1 defense drone... Um, can, it's just slower. It can only shoot one of the flak pieces down. I'm going to keep going with this. Get the flak going. I want to get those shields down. There we go. Timing again. Let's time the ion blast with the flak. Fight a bit early there. Okay, so those uh, those shields are coming down now. Because he's on fire. So, they're definitely in some trouble here. Oh, wait, he's trying to jump. I didn't even see that. Shit. Hopefully I hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. You see, that's what I mean. you got to keep an eye on that. It says, if it says their FTL is charging, yeah, you got to be ready for it. Otherwise, they're going to get the hell out of there. Oof, almost lost that one. Okay, 600 scrap. There's an achievement tied to that with a different ship, so it's a lot of scrap. Okay, um, what have we got here? Okay, we've got one combat fire beam drone. we got, um, this is going to get through, so we might well use our cloaking this time. And the ion weapon. I don't think this, these two are a problem. I think it's just the Artemis, or the, um, the missile weapon is a problem. So let's... Uh, get one of their shield bubbles down hopefully I can get I want to time this right so I want my cloaking to go after I fire but it's not going to so I'm gonna cloak actually you know what it does what oh I already cloaked it doesn't matter oh that was not great Looks like I'm going to have to take a shot from this uh, missile no matter what. So let's try... Come on. Oh, that's bad. It's rather unfortunate, actually. Ugh, annoying. See, I've got to wait for my look. My cloaking has to recharge. You can't use it again right away. Come on. Can't keep missing, surely. There we go. Okay. So now what do I want to do? Now let's uh, let's take out his shields. Speed up the repair on that. Actually, I'm going to take his piloting. Because he's got high piloting. There we go. See all those misses? Now we won't have to worry about that. Now we'll be able to take him out quickly. Flak. Let's get those shields down. There's flak on his weapons. And there we go. Let's heal these two guys up. <laughs> I can't believe how much scrap I'm getting. It is not normal. You do not normally get 50 scrap per go. I've got nothing to do with it. I mean, I've got to upgrade my ship now. I have so much scrap. Okay, let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's max that. Let's double the doors. Let's double the sensors. Let's add to the piloting. We've still got 440 here. Let's have one extra. So even though we don't need... Actually, we can use it for the Artemis. But even if we didn't need it for the Artemis uh, missile, it's always handy to have one extra because if you get hit, then it will take away that one extra power bank you have, which you're not using. So it won't affect your weapons. So it's, it's handy. You should upgrade as much as you can. So... Um, Yes, and now we can we can cloak for 60 seconds or 30 seconds or 15 seconds 
or eight seconds or three seconds. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's a long time now. Send your crew out. Uh, okay, so the rock doesn't get damaged by fire. So when there's a fire event, if we send in a regular person, they might die, but the rock won't. So we send in the rock. What do we get? We get a life force scammer, scanner, which is vendor trash. Um, it's very appropriate for slugs because they like to know where you are. Got intruders on board. What do we got here? Not bad. Ooh, yeah, they got some. Ooh, they got some weapons. Let's try and time everything. Where should we put them? Let's see. Let's have slug. Let's have a fight. Oh, here we go. Let's let him in there. No worries. All right, let's try and time everything together here. Oh, these are charge lasers, so I got to keep an eye on it. They may not fire them all. Sometimes they charge them up. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah, we got them. We got them, son. Don't you worry. I'm going to cloak just to show you how long it lasts anyway. So look, you can see the jump down. Every time I fire, this jumps down enormously. So they're trying to get away, but I think we're okay. No. We're going to kill you instead. Uh, let's add one more power bar so that we can actually have everything up and running. Return to base. Uh, return to your stations. Let's... Uh, Helen Turing. I don't think he was a slug. This is inappropriate naming. Um, it's homophobic. That's what it is. Um, all right. Accept this proposal. Prepare to find the rebel ship. Sure. Let's fight the rebel ship. Okay. Doors locked. Let's starve these guys of oxygen. Do we need the Artemis? Oh. Yeah, this isn't too hard. I don't know how quickly this uh, smart bomb is going to uh, hit us. Okay, we're going to move him over here. Because they're going to get through those doors pretty quickly. And look. So, watch what happens here. I have not hit that, so I'm going to recharge all of my weapons and I'm going to cloak. So now this will not be able to fire or anything. With any luck, those fires will take it out. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to wait until everything's charged up. And then we are going to fire again. There we go. Look. Took the weapon out. Piece of cake. <coughs> so that's what I mean. You really want to, in an ideal world, you will time out uh, the use of your cloaking very specifically. Like, don't use it unless you have to use it because the recharge is a very long time. So you want to time it. Last minute. Use it last minute so that they fire their weapons. And now they have to wait for them to recharge, but they can't recharge while you're cloaked. So, yeah, you want to time it out. Uh, with a fine tooth comb. I did this the wrong way around, this beacon. I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, intervene to defend the outpost. Yes, of course. No worries here so far. Where's he going? Oh, fucking weapons. This is annoying. More than anything, this is just annoying. Yes, it means we've got to take the hacking out. Uh, let's see. I, I can maybe try firing a missile at it. That might work. There we go. So you kind of have to take it out because otherwise you this battle will just take forever. It's not necessarily a fear that he's going to defeat you because I always have that cloaking. It's just how long it takes. The battle takes a lot longer because your weapons are down all the time. There we go. And take that out. There we go. And then we're going to be going back to him. We have 30 missiles. What am I dicking around for? Let's use them. Wow, he repaired that really quickly. Okay. Uh, what's 
what should we do? Let's uh, take out their piloting. I want to burn them out. Oh, I didn't move my dude back. Okay. What's this asteroid field? Okay. Yeah, I should have gone up here. I didn't. Why didn't I go up here? All right. Where's the jumps? Forward scout. Let's see three shields. They're trying to get away. Let's remember that this time. Let's uh, fire a missile that hopefully slowing them down. Okay, so we're going to fire, and then we're going to close all of these down, and then we're going to cloak. So now that misses. Look, we're up to 99, 92% evasion. That misses. And I've, it can't recharge, watch, he can't recharge his weapons. I'm not firing, so this isn't going down, and I'm recharging mine. Fucking great. So now we're getting close, let's do it. As soon as I fire, though, I'm going to lose all of my stealth. Or pretty much all of my stealth. Wow. A lot of shields. We're trying very hard to get out of this fight, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Without and getting away. Maybe. Maybe we can. Now let's try firing again. Oh, I missed. Come on. Really? Okay, I've got to try and take him out. Oh my god, how did it miss three times in a row? It's not going to get there in time. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, so you get to see it, right? The fleet, it's going to jump one huge leap, and I'm probably going to be oh, close to behind the line. Uh, actually, maybe that's why. See, it all works out. That's why I took the shorter route, because I was going to miss it. This is why I ended up going down. I thought I was going to waste space, but actually that event happened, and I didn't waste space. It's all part of the plan. You little nuggets. Okay. What do we got here? We got uh, heavy laser two. Nah, crew we don't need. Have we got anything to sell? Yeah, let's get rid of that junk. I really don't like the Artemis. Uh, shield charge booster, trash. We don't need it. Replicator is good if you're doing a uh, missile run. We're not. Uh, FTL navigation. I don't use it. Um, no, nothing there. We could do a little bit of repair. Add a little bit of fuel. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right, let's uh, jump to the asteroid field. Let's see what's in here. Okay, auto scout. We're going to take out... I think actually we're going to take out its... Uh, shields and then cloak. And just watch. As the asteroid field destroys it. Oh, I didn't take them all out. That's annoying. Got close. All right, now I got a hit. There we go. Now the asteroids will take it out. Alright, jump. Are we good? Are we good? Let's see. Go out to the exit. How long have we been recording? God, God, an hour and a half. People, people, people. Uh, do we want anyone? Weapons? Fight. Okay, an NG fighting. There's no point. NGs are terrible at fighting. So good at combat NG is irrelevant. You don't need it. Just like a good at repair um, mantis. Pointless. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're in sector 7. Pirate Control or the Zoltan Homeworlds? Let's do the Zoltan Homeworlds. Because you haven't seen them before. We haven't seen many Zoltans. We have one, of course, right here on our shields. Uh, but let's get through this a little quicker. We'll go to the store. Okay, what do we have here? We have the fire beam. Remember I was telling you about how we would need that if we are going to do the fire version. We have a Mantis who's good on combat, that would be nice. We have Gumpo, who's good on fighting. He's a Zoltran, so he would give us energy as well. This 
put out basically fires, combat, energy, or power. Uh, what's on the second page? We have a clone bay, no. Crew teleport, no. Drone control with a free combat drone, no. Anything we want here? I don't think so. I'm tempted to buy him. I have so much scrap. Yeah, let's buy him. Uh, oh, I unlocked an achievement because I have so many different um, species on board. Okay, so where should we keep you for now? Let's keep you in oxygen for now. Because if you land up here, we should be good. No, let's put you central. Let's put you in cloaking. Because um, often they come into these doors here. So, our borders. Okay. Everyone saved. Moving on. Next, let's go down here. No, we're not going to buy them. Oh, because he has a Zoltan shield. So this is a one-off shield that you have to take down, right? So every hit reduces this, um, and then it doesn't come back. Uh, so he's basically got seven shields at the moment. Actually, you know, it depends on how many hits. Ion weapons take this down a lot quicker. So it's not seven shields. Oh, I said that. It's two shields plus this bar of shields. Uh, we're going to attack, but like I said, ion shields do a lot more damage to this thing. What's he got? He's got four shots. Ion. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, so we are going to... Our burst laser will get rid of the rest of the Zoltan shield. Uh, missiles don't go through the Zoltan shield. So you want to not fire missiles. They'll reduce it, but they won't go through, and it's a really inefficient way of doing it. So we want to do that. Hit it, and now, with any luck, our Artemis missile will hit their shields. Nice. Okay. Flak on center mass. I don't really want oxygen, but I don't want to miss more. Let this go. We're going to cloak to avoid his... Actually, I think that's a Mark IV. Five shots. Count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's fire a missile. And then we're going to go with, oh, look at that. Nope, we don't want any of your slaves. We just want to kill you. Like this and this. And we're going to take that out. Oh, lovely. Lovely. More scrap. Let's, let's put more shit on the ship. Fuck like it. Go. What should we do? Let's soup up the engines. We could soup up shields, but let's get extra stuff. Let's do it. Do the things. Everything. Do the things. Look, I've got, I've got power to spare. Where should I put that extra power, actually? In the engines. Let's see. So my uncloaked evasion is currently 48. I mean, that's big. Almost half the shots will miss me. I think the highest you can get is like 55, so that's good. I'm saying that like it's a rare thing. You can get up to that a lot. Okay, so Zoltan Shield again. I can't see the weapons. What do they have? Not too bad. Uh, I don't think we need our missiles here, but we want to get rid of their Zoltan Shield before we do anything. Oh, is this a triple shot? This could be whatever that triple shot thing is. But to be safe, let's try getting rid of them with the Artemis. Let's get rid of the shields. It's a double shot, and that's a double shot. So we're fine. As long as one misses, we're fine. Okay, so... Flak and the Ion Blast on the shields. And then we'll see if we can take some of their weapons out. Beautiful! Piece of cake, mate. There's some interesting runs you can do as well. You can pick up, like, you can do all Zoltan crew, which is fascinating because you have so much power on board the ship. They die very easily. You have to. It's really hard to manage because, you know, you move a crew member and suddenly your system goes down because you've been relying on their additional power. But it's a really fun... This is a fun run, like, focusing on that. Um, focusing on Zoltans. Zoltrans. Okay, uh, pretty much the same deal, except this time he's got a missile... So, 
I think their Zoltran shield will go down pretty quick here, actually. Because we're in an asteroid field. Oh, my God. Why didn't I pause it? I'm doing a terrible job of explaining. You've got to pause there so that they don't hit your weapons. So we're going to wait. 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 I'm going to hide. I'm going to evade. Hit everything at it. Come on, hit. Yes. Not a bad start. Not bad. Not bad. Good recovery so far. Except we are going to have to deal with one missile, which hopefully is poorly placed. Oh, and the hacking. Very frustrating hacking. Okay, let's try hitting the hacking with an Artemis. All right, I've got to hit the hacking. Because it's just... That's the cycle I was talking about before, how... It just... that The whole battle takes forever because you're constantly waiting for the hacking to finish so you get your weapons back. Okay, so we got rid of their hacking. So now, let's wait for the stuff to recharge. And then we're going to unload on... Their weapons. Get rid of their weapons. Oh my god, what? Really? Wow, there's some serious dodging going on over here. There we go. That was annoying. I played that very poorly. I should have paused. When you see the hacking come in, you want to let it get close to your ship and pause and then make a decision on whether you need to um, cloak, right? Uh, I didn't do that. I let it hit and then I cloaked. Totally the wrong way around to do it. Hopefully I'll get it next time. I'm running out of superlatives for how much scrap I'm getting on this run. <laughs> okay. Uh, 536 scrap. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, this is a Mark IV, so this is seven shots. This is a potential threat and boarding. So we're going to let loose on that. Let's see, where's he go? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I have... Uh, I have my combat specialist right here. Let's do this. We're going to move him down here. We're going to move him up here. Him here. Meanwhile, back in Gotham City. Let's see if we can take out their guns. They're rather devastating guns. Yes, we did a good. We did a good. Okay, we're going to focus on their shields next. Let the pulse do its work. Piece of cake. Nope. We don't want your money. We want your blood. I thought that was much was very clear. Dear child. Alright. Let's get out of here. We got to... Uh, let's get everyone healed up. Get them back to their stations and then time our jump when we get our shields and engines back. Shields. We can probably jump without engines. Yep. Pressing jump pause the game, by the way. So that's why I do it that way. Uh, let's go to the, hit the store. Okay, what do we got here? The store. We don't need to fix up because we're getting near the end. At the end, you get automatically fixed up when you hit the final zone. Um, Lana, Steve Eckerman, and Wei Xing. Anything to sell? No. Yeah, crappy stores at the end of this. Normally, the stores get better and better. This has got worse and worse. I don't know. Maybe it's the random number generator gave me tons of cash and nothing to spend it on. Or, well, actually, I can spend it on my ship. Uh, ooh. What do we want? You know what? Okay, so normally you would fight to either get ammunition or fuel. I'm going to let them leave so we can get through this game. Just move on. Not worth it. Not worth it. No point. Just make sure I have my shields up. You always want to enter shields up if you can. A lot of events that can uh, cause you problems if you don't have your shields up at the beginning. If they have drones, you're screwed. 
Okay. News up. Put the power back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these stores, nothing to buy. And there are stores in the last zone, but you often can't get to them. Wow. Wow. All right. Prepare yourself. Prepare your anus for the last stand. Okay, so let's jump in. Why didn't it go? What's going on? Jump. Um, okay, Sector 8. So, you arrive in outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past. What is the meaning of this? Admiral Sully. Oh, he's such a card. Uh, explain the weakness of the enemy fleet. I'm here to help you. Really? Oh, well, let me fitch, patch you up. So, they give you some fuel, and they give you some power, hull points. And you should remember that, because you can, you can time all of this stuff out. Like, don't repair your chip right in the in sector seven if you don't need to don't buy fuel you never need to buy fuel they give you 10 which is enough to get through this sector even if you have one fuel when you jump in or no, no fuel when you jump in uh, okay so there is often a store here but i don't know where it is this is what we got to protect this is i we just got a really ugly <laughs> layout here repair is really good because you go to them you get cash and you get um some you get cool shit right you get lots of cash and and uh, fuel and ammo and drone parts. Well, we ain't going to visit any of these because of the way it's laid out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, you don't want to jump to beacons uh, that have turned red because they have very difficult fights against uh, artillery. You don't want that. This is actually going to be a difficult fight, this Rebel flagship, because I haven't got... I mean, I am not armed to the tooth here at all. I've not found decent weapons. But... Here's where it is. I also, if I had a pre-igniter, it might make it better, but I don't. <sighs> He's going to fire at me. Okay, so I can do something here, though, I think. I can maybe get this off in time. I think I can. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We got rid of one of them. So now we're going to charge everything up here. And hopefully we can hit him before this big ass bastard over here, the predator missile, hits us. Am I gonna hit it? Oh, I missed all three shots. What are the chances? That's ridiculous. It's a big missile. Oh, I missed. Thank God. Can't believe that. All three of those shots missed. There we go. That's more like it. One more. Can I take you out of my Artemis? There we go. All right. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Come on board, mate. Come on board. I don't know where we're going to put you, but uh, why don't you sit in here? And then if anything, actually, you know, sit in. Yeah, sit in here. And you can add to the repair. Two, two uh, crew on a repair obviously speeds up. So we can use you. Let's go down here. Auto scout with three shields and a couple of drones. Uh, that's an ion, which is annoying. Let's take out the shields if we can. How often is he going to fire that ion? No, he's charging it. We can take out these shields now with this hit, or at least get them down to one or two. We should be fine. Can we? Nope, we can't. That's ugly. Oof. I actually think we're going to have to take out his weapons first. I don't see a choice. Because that ion hit us, and we're going to have to cloak to regenerate our shields. Like there. You're going to go in, you're going to fix that. Both of you are going to fix that, actually. Wait, when did I get hit by an ion? Oh my god. Not playing this well at all. Let's recharge everything.
There we go. Okay. Oh, we're running out of oxygen over here. Let's heal you up. All right, we should be good now. We should be good now. Let's get the flat going. Oh, I <laughs> hit one of their drones. Okay, let's take the shields out. And fire on their pirate because they're evading a lot. There we go. Now we got them. Yeah, I'm not going to beat the rebel flagship on this run. But I'm going to put this up anyway. Uh, unless I somehow... Maybe that's the store. But my, uh, my weapons are just not strong enough. It's interesting. I had a really good run for scrap. And just to tell us, no, fuck. Well, I'm going to fight one of these places because sometimes you just get a weapon from a fight. But uh, I had a great run for scrap and terrible run for weaponry. Really bad run. But that's the nature of this game. Okay, so he just fired. Where's that going to hit? That's fine. We're okay with that. We don't mind that. What do we need to do here? We need to take out the shields and we've got to dodge this predator missile. This is three shots or four shots? Three shots. Oh, that's not a bad that's not good. Bad start. Why am I missing so much? It's odd. Got a cloak? Got to avoid those three lasers. I probably could have got by without it, but I'm going to recharge everything up. We want to take out... What we're trying to do is we're trying to take out before this hits. This big missile. Whatever it is. The Hermes or whatever they call it. Come on. There we go. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, it did, but it didn't take him out. We got robbed. All right. Miss. Please miss. Oh, we, now we take him out. Great. Oh, it's a big hit. It's a big hit. I could vent to get rid of it, but um, NGs deal with fire really well. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, may as well just let him do it. Why are you out of juice already? Get out of it then. Go over here. Oh my god, why am I missing all the time? Oh my god. Wow. This is annoying. I keep missing and I don't know why. Come on. Okay. Better? I'll accept that. Okay, it's hitting with the flak, center mass. Let's get you boys up there dealing with that. This is a terrible run. <laughs> no, I want to finish you now because you piss me off. So no. Annoying bastards. Wow. It's difficult to stream while you're playing. I was I was gonna do uh, I was gonna do a, a run through here on hard to show you how well I, how good I was at this game, but I'm looking terrible playing it this way. But you know, um, definitely underpowered with the weapons. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to spend some money on the ship here. We get the shields up and the engines up. We've got all this scrap and uh, not really much to do with it. Nowhere to spend it. All right. Well, let's spend some. Okay, so we've got the the flagship, which is three fights, right? So let's get our shields up to full. Let's get our engines up. Put our pilot thing. Let's just get everything up. Let's get one extra in the weapons so they can't shut us down. I mean, look at this. We're almost maxed. We've got so much. There's so few things that we've got to buy, though. We just didn't get anywhere near as many, um, as much gear as we normally get. I don't know what happened. Just missed a lot of gear. All right. Well, look, we're up to 55 evasion. 
All right, let's wait at the base for the flagship to come in. It's going to be a tough one. Okay, we wait. So you wait there. If he gets to the base three times and destroys it, you and lose the game. Okay, so here we go. There are three stages to the flagship. First stage is... Cloaking? Cloaking. Yes, so he cloaks. He's going to send in a dude. So now, it's okay if he gets piloting. I'm not worried about that. You don't want to cloak right away with the flagship, right? You want to let him use up his cloak. He's charging his weapons. And you're going to cloak at the... I don't know how I'm going to beat him. I just realized that. But you're going to cloak at the point when he fires to make the most of your cloak. We're going to try and take his shields down. We really need to get his shields down. So let's try that. And let's cloak right now. That wasn't bad. Not great, but it wasn't bad. Got hit by one. So now he can't hit us because we're cloaked. So we're going to charge up. We really want to hit his cloaking as well if we can. But it's more important to be able to actually take him out. So we've got to take that as shields. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, that was really, really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, we might be able to, we might be in a cycle here where we can dodge again. Nope. Thank goodness for high evasion. Did you see that? It's pretty nice, wasn't it? Okay, that's good. Now then, let's see if we can take out his cloaking, which has been a cause for much consternation. Not bad. <laughs> He's lovely jubbly. This is the easy phase. Stage. Um, let's uh, hit that again. Okay, so with the laser, now we actually damage his weapons, so we could take out his piloting, I guess. This is the one you want to get rid of. If you don't have defense missiles, you really want to get rid of their missiles. Now, he just fired on me, so I am going to cloak past it so he can't hurt me. Look at that. 60% cloak. Oh. Okay. So he happened. <laughs> he happened to hack my piloting. So my cloak only got us to 60% evasion and he still hit. That's rare. That is actually unlucky. It doesn't normally happen that way at all. Okay. But now we can't do anything. Got to be careful of this big laser as well. We have uh, three shields at least. And four when it's all working. So we're fine. But you've got to be careful of that one. There we go. We've won, right? No, we haven't. He gets away. So he's going to piss off for a bit and uh, lick his wounds. We're going to heal up. See, this is where those repair rooms, uh, those repair be uh, beacons are really good. Because, look, we lost a lot of health there. We have a low health right now. We could jump to one and get full repair, but we can't because they're on the wrong side of the map. There's nowhere we can go. All we can do is wait. I mean, we have some 62 scrap to spend or anything. No, I guess we could add oxygen. And why not? Nothing else to spend on as well. Look, we can uh, speed up our oxygen increase. 94, 95. This doesn't work very well, by the way. The math, the way they do this doesn't work. It should go up much faster than that. But there we go. Uh, four shields, please. Yes, everything good. Wait again. Okay, so the second Rebel uh, flagship, when it jumps in, now it's on its drone strike. This one's hard. This one uh, can be hard if you don't time your cloaking right. You have to time your cloaking perfectly right. It also has a defense drone, which means your Artemis missile is useless. Uh, sometimes it gets through. If you have enough missiles you can fire, I don't. Um, but you've got to be careful. Okay, he's sending in a boarding drone, which we're going to send in our Mantis to fight, along with our Rockman. Um, we still need, we've still got to get the shields down. It's all about the shields, man. Please get the shields down, please. Come on, come on. Oh, I missed with all three flax. That is really unlucky. Uh, you're going to hear a beacon go off in a minute, which is his warning that he's about to send you tons of... Um, 
drones. You hear in a sec. Now I have to. I have to cloak. You hear that beacon? So watch what happens. I'm going to stay cloaked, not fire, to let all of these drones get by. Ooh, okay. That was stupid of me. I think I just fired my weapon when I didn't need to. Okay, let's go again. Got to take out the shields. Come on, shield, shield, shield. Oh my god, what the hell? It's so bad. I could potentially time my Artemis with the flak here. Because uh, the defense drone is trying to hit the flak. So I think I'm going to do that. Try and time it perfectly. Yes, it hit. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, so I got the drones coming in, and that means I am in trouble. We can just fire off this, though. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Get our evasion up to 55 again, can we? Miss, 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 no. Oh, it's a tough battle. You can see why it's tough, man, the flagship. Okay, we're going to put this and this. No, we're going to fire that actually just after the flak. Just after the flak. Oh, I took out their defense drone. That will do. That's a rarity, but that's good. All right, now I can fire my drone missile and maybe take out some of his crap. No, that's not good enough. Okay, I'm going to get out of there. Go, go, go. I need to save some Artemis for the next fight. I've got to be prepared to cloak here. Okay, we got rid of his missiles. Now we've got to watch out for uh, the second set of drones. But I think we might be able to get rid of him before then. Oh, I forgot there's always another one. It keeps They keep sending boarding drones. Okay, so hang on. Boarding drone. All right, so i got to cloak through these, right? And now they're gone, I can now attack him and hopefully take him out. Alright, I think we've done well here. Yep, we did well. We need to repair lots of things. All of the things. I don't know if these will repair quick enough, will they? Yes. Okay, fortunately, we have, uh, we've got that extra oxygen, so we can recharge everyone very quickly. Who's landing? Him. Okay. Let's get everyone healed up. All right. One more fight to go. So now, the last fight... 33, can I spend it anywhere? No. So the last fight is uh, the flagship again. We're going to wait out. And this time he comes back with the Zoltan shield. Now, this is so much luck. If you can get the Zoltan shield down, this is an easy battle. <laughs> a relatively easy battle. I remember, it's been a long time. God, I hope I'm remembering that right. When I say easy, the flagship is never easy. Oh, I forgot he has mind control. Mind control sucks. Unless he happens to choose, hopefully he chooses someone irrelevant. Basically, for the most part, just don't deal with mind control unless you have to. Let him let him do his thing. Um, if we were cloaked, he wouldn't be able to mind control. But I don't think you can cloak quickly enough to get rid of it. So we're going to hold the cloak anyway. The cloaking, again, is going to try and avoid their, um, uh, their missiles. Okay, remember Artemis missile? Any kind of missile will only take down... Uh, the Zoltan shield it won't pass through like it does with regular shields. However, we need to get it down, so I'm going to waste it. We're just going to waste it. Fire and forget. Okay, good. Good, good. That's good. We might have to sacrifice a life here. Like right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
get rid of that Zoltan shield. Okay, so we are going to cloak right now. We're going to move... This guy is about to die, so we're going to get rid of him. We're going to put him in here instead. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, it's got the blast thing. It blasts this weird laser beam thing. Oh, I just died. Oh, I'm screwing this up. I'm really screwing this up, gents. Yeah, this thing. Oh, we evaded it. That was amazing. Okay, maybe. Maybe. We have a chance here. We have a chance. Come on. We have a chance. Oh, I think that's my dog. <laughs> it's my wife. It's not my dog. It's my wife. Okay. Can I get out of here with my life? I don't know. Okay, so the... Um, Yes, I think I can. The uh, the brain controls. The brain controls stopped. Mind control. Woo! It got so hot in here suddenly. Okay, I want to time the flak with the burst laser. Let's see if I can heal up a little bit here. I think I'm good. I think I'm good so far. This might work out. Come on, get rid of the shield. Get rid of the shield. Yes. Now then, see if we can get rid of mind control. Nope. We're going to avoid. We are not going to get hit by those missiles. We're going to cloak. Good. We're going to wait for this fire and forget thing to go. There we go. Come on. Don't worry about that. So this is a situation where we can ignore the um, mind control. It's fine, just let him do his thing over there. That's not what we're worried about. We've got to take down the ship. The shields are gone. We can take down the missiles. Let's unload on piloting. And I think we're going to win this one. i got a good feeling. Do you see my flak take out all of their uh, missiles? <laughs> that was awesome. We go. I can cloak. There we go. All right. I made that a lot harder than it is, to be honest with you. That this is. Um, I don't know. I've played it so much now, so maybe it's really difficult, and I forget in that. So that's it. You get to the end of it now. Um, a lot of strategies in there that you don't have to do. It's a very low score. Really good scores are in the seven thousands. I think I saw an eight thousand once, maybe. Maybe not, but 7,000 is a really good score. 6,000 is actually a really good score. 7,000 is kind of elite. You're in the elite territory there. Um, so let's see, what did that unlock? Now we have the uh, NG Cruiser. Um, we've only unlocked, we haven't locked out, unlocked the layouts here. We have to get these achievements. So right here, look. Uh, six unique aliens. Remember, we got that achievement. We need to get another one, like 11 systems, which we weren't going to get because we didn't get any stores in the last one. Um, or repair back to full health when it only has one HP. Getting these will unlock your uh, a second layout, and completing it on hard, I think, also does that. It's how you unlock them all. Anyway, so that's FTL. Long video, two hours, man. But I hope you enjoyed it. It's a greatest game ever made, I think. I really do think it is one of the best video games ever made. So enjoy it, and uh, go buy it. Give them your money. It's an nine nearly nine years old this game and it's still one of the best things out there on the market so all right you little nuggets thank you for sticking in there see you next time